Six deep questions that help you find your life purpose. Do you feel lost or as if something is missing in your life? Maybe you want to make a bigger difference in the world than feel you are, but you aren't sure how. So many of us walk through life, feeling numb and desperate for a deeper connection, but aren't sure how to get it. The two greatest day of your life are the day you were born, and the day you find out what your purpose is, but if you don't know what your purpose is then you don't know why you are here, and it can be hard to keep going. Finding your purpose is more than just a cliché or a dream that will never be fulfilled. It's actually a tool for a better, happier, healthier life that too few people attempt to use. In fact, only around 25% of adults cite having a clear sense of purpose about what makes their lives meaningful. Our guiding light is our purpose. We cannot thrive until we discover it. For some people, though, it's not as easy to identify a passion. You may even have asked yourself at one point or another, what should I do with my life? What is my passion? Or, what is my life purpose? Alternatively, you may enjoy what you do, but on deeper exploration, discover that you're passionate about something altogether different than what you do. We have put together a series of questions to help you figure your life purpose. What is important to you and what can add more meaning to your life? 1. What's your favorite flavor of shit sandwich? This is an important question. Because here's the truth about life. Everything sucks, some of the time. Now, that probably sounds pessimistic. But, everything involves sacrifice. Everything comes with a price. Nothing is pleasurable or uplifting all of the time. So the question becomes, what sacrifice or struggles are you willing to tolerate? What determines our ability to stick with something we care about is our ability to handle the rough patches and ride out the inevitable rotten days. If you want to be a successful entrepreneur, but you can't handle failure, then you're not going to make it far. If you want to be a professional artist, but you aren't willing to see your work rejected hundreds, thousand times, then you're done before you start. What unpleasant experiences are you able to handle to get what you want, fulfill your life purposes? Are you able to stay up all night coding? Are you able to have people laugh you off the stage over and over again until you get it right? Are you able to put off starting a family for 10 years? What shit sandwich do you want to eat? Because we all get served one eventually. No one grows up saying they want to live a small, meaningless and indifferent life. 2. What is true about you today that would make your 7-year-old self cry? When I was a child, I used to write and create stories. I used to sit in my room for hours by myself, writing away, about superheroes, about great warriors, about supernatural battles, about my friends and family. Not because I wanted anyone to read it, not because I wanted to impress my friends or parents. But for the sheer joy of it. And then, for some reason, I stopped. And I don't remember why. We all have a tendency to lose touch with what we loved as a child. Something about the social pressures of adolescence and professional pressures of young adulthood squeezes the passion out of us. We're taught that the only reason to do something is if we're somehow rewarded for it. It wasn't until I was in my mid-twenties, and it's just this year, that I rediscovered how much I loved writing. And it wasn't until I started writing here that I remembered how much I enjoyed building a stories something I did in my early teens, just for fun. The funny thing though, is that if why seven-year-old self asked myself right now, why don't you write stories anymore? I will reply, because you can't make money doing that, and I don't know how to make people read what I write. Not only would I have been completely wrong, but that boy version of me would have probably started crying. Act as if you are already where you want to be. 3. How do you want to be remembered? You build your legacy the moment you become aware of wanting to make a difference in the world. Will you be remembered for being the best couch potato ever or will you be remembered for your art, for your kindness or for your creativity? What do you want to leave behind for the betterment of a person or people or simply for your own sense of meaning? Ultimately purpose is the result of being authentic and living in harmony with that. 4. How are you going to save the world? The world has a lot of problems. Everything is F asterisk C K E D and we're all going to die. Research says that to live a happy and healthy life, we must hold on to values that are greater than our own pleasure and satisfaction. So pick a problem and start saving the world. Who doesn't want to be a superhero? There are plenty to choose from. Our screwed up economic development, education systems, domestic violence, and even governmental corruption. Hell, I just saw an article this morning on woman rights and it got me all riled up and wishing I could do something. Find a problem you care about and start solving it. Obviously, you're not going to fix the world's problems by yourself. But you can contribute and make a difference. 
and that feeling of making a difference is ultimately what's most important for your own happiness and fulfillment. You have the power to achieve greatness and create anything you want in life, but you must take action. 5. If you didn't have a job, how would you choose to fill those hours? If you didn't have to work and you weren't allowed to stay in the house, how would you choose to spend that time? Where would you go? In the evenings, many people like to relax and unwind. However, unlimited free time often encourages people to fill the time in a productive manner. Write down a few ways you would spend your free time, and then try one out on your next day off. If you are unsure, don't feel disheartened. It can take a while for you to realize what you are passionate about, so spend some free time doing something that you find both enjoyable and productive, and eventually you will discover your life purpose. The mystery of human existence lies not in just staying alive, but in finding something to live for. 6. If you had a dream, could you make it happen? Many people have dreams, but choose not to pursue them due to the financial risks or fear of failure. Start thinking about your dream in a more positive light, asking yourself, how can I make this happen? Instead of telling yourself you won't succeed. Try to let go of negative thoughts that could hold you back from achieving your life purpose. Instead, try in something every week that helps you to make your dreams come true. So if you constantly ask, why do I never get what I want in life? Your subconscious mind will go to work to help you find the answer and it will always be negative. Whereas if you constantly ask yourself, how can I make it happen? Your subconscious mind will get to work and start looking for ways to get you what you want. Man is not born to solve the problems of the universe, but to find out what he has to do, within the limits of his comprehension.